We come to learn more about the big idea. And when we show those big ideas, something amazing happens. We can actually change the world around us, which is really pretty amazing when you think about it. Oh, don't you think that's really? awesome? No. Look, we need to talk about this because that was awful. I can't uh, even believe what you decided to serve me last night. Mrs. No. Smith? Awful. Uh, no. Those, that steak, first of all, I ordered sirloin and you gave me filet. And I wanted a medium rare and what I got was, well, rarely medium. Those little bits were like as tough as leather after dancing at a Garth Brooks concert Mrs. all night. Mrs. Smith, we could no. have already started here. No, and let's not even talk about the sides. I am telling you, those mashed potatoes, ugh. Like the garlic was so strong it about punched me in the face. I mean, look, I even think I have a black eye. I think Mrs. Smith could use our big idea this month, don't you? And the green beans were limp, and the, ro the rolls were just as bad as rocks. And I am not into eating rock and rolls, you know, if you get what my drift. Oh, oh, wait a second, I have a, I never have another call. But Mrs. Smith, just, just. Larry, my man. Oh, oh, I, that's right, sorry, I know your name is Logan. Um, Logan, my man! Uh, oh, you, yeah, we met a couple of times, like we were walking the dogs and we got together. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'll help you move your piano on Saturday. Yeah, no problem at all, that's just common decency. Okay, see ya. I, just a minute, I'm almost done. Okay, no, now are you still there? Good, because let me tell you, you are just the kind of person whom you would hang up on me. But I'm telling you, you better have some serious, serious uh, changes to this menu because before I ever allow myself to lower myself to eat at your dining establishment again this evening, things have gotta be better. All right, goodbye. Um, so Mrs. Smith- Hey, Mrs. Amy! Uh, hi, Mrs. It's about time to reveal the big idea, right? It is definitely time to All reveal right. the big idea. Okay, boys and girls, can you give me a drum roll on your legs? And when I get to three, I want you to say the big idea with me. Are you ready? One. And I think the big idea got stuck. Two. Three. to a total stranger this week, okay? Like me, showing others they are important by how you treat them. Well, I guess I'm the only one who has the big idea down. Um, I, I'm really glad you've learned to show kindness to some people in certain circumstances. What do you mean? You heard me on the phone, right? I was talking to Larry Boy. I'm gonna move his piano. I mean, right? Moving pianos, that's like the American Ninja level of kindness. Okay, Mrs. Smith, now we heard that, but we also heard something else. Oh, did you hear my amazing announcer voice? No. I'm talking about the other call. The other call? You know, where you were ordering a meal. Oh, a meal. Dinner! Oh, that was Mom! You talk to your mother like that? You haven't had her mashed potatoes. You can't treat your mother that way. Well, you haven't tried living in her basement. You know, I think I see the problem here. It's sometimes easier to be kind to a perfect stranger than to somebody that we really care about. How can I? Oh, okay, I know. Boys and girls, help me out here. If you have a brother or a sister or a best friend, raise your hand. Okay, hands up now. If, keep them up, keep them up. If sometime this week you have said or done something that wasn't kind to your brother or your sister or your best friend, put your hand down. See? See? It's harder to be kind to the people that we're around all the time than it is to the perfect stranger. But our families, and our friends are really important to us. And we
we need to show them how valuable they are, especially our mothers. But her steak is only valuable as a science experiment. Well, she does have to put up with you, you know. <gasps> well, that is a privilege some people would pay good money for. You should call your mother and apologize. Well, isn't that a bit excessive? Not if you ever want to eat another meal. Let's get out of here and let these kids see what's happening back at the clubhouse. I just wanted to tell you about something I'm pretty proud of. I think my sister and I did a pretty cool thing this afternoon. My sister Lisa and I were having a snack, and we both saw Mom walk into the room. There was really no other way to say it, but Mom, she looked rough. I could tell. She was just tired. It's not surprising. I mean, she does so much for me and Lisa. If it wasn't for her, we would smell like dirty laundry. We wouldn't get our homework done. We wouldn't eat. Well, she just does a lot for us. So I got this idea. What if Lisa and I did something for her? You know, to show her how valuable she is to us. So Lisa and I came up with a plan. It was pretty good and easy. We decided to make a magical getaway for her. First, we folded all the cool laundry. So we thought Mom would like that. Then Lisa made a fruit and cheese plate. Didn't sound like much to me, but she assured me it was very, what did she say? Oh yeah, elegant and refined, whatever that means. While Lisa was doing that, I was decorating. Well, the best I know how. I mean, who doesn't like Christmas lights? Once I got the lights ready, all that was left was to make Mom a bubble bath. So everything was set. Now, we just had to go get Mom and surprise her. And boy, was she surprised. First, we showed her the laundry, all folded and sorted. Then, we walked her into her spa, complete with gourmet snacks and bubbles. Mom was very happy. I think she even cheered up a little. Mom told Lisa and I that this was one of the kindest things anyone has done for her. I thought that was pretty cool. Mom always showing us how valuable we are to her by the things she does for us. I thought it would just be nice to return the favor. Maybe next week we can do something else. Timing on this is just right, most timely thing in the world. Hi out there, cyberspace! It's me, Marshall! And I'm here to document another one of those amazing things that will change the world. We're talking about kindness. And we're talking about kindness, so I'm going to launch the Kindness Catching Project right here, right here at the clubhouse. And this is the best place to do that because just, just 20 yards away from here is the Fickenhofer family. You know, Grandpa Henry and Mrs. Zapp and Gordo. They're, they're three very different amazing people, but they just are awesome at showing kindness to one another. Look, I think I hear them coming now. Let's try to catch some of this kindness on camera. Me first! Move it! Out of my way! Mother! You, you said yourself this clubhouse is for the express usage of the younger generation. Hey, I clean this place. That gives me precedence. Oh, I built the dark gone thing. You know what? My sewing circle deserves a proper Valentine party, especially after all of those little coffee mug cozies <laughs> that we knitted for the starving children. Well, that's great, Mother, but, but I've already claimed this space for the, for the science club's bloody hearts extravaganza. Ooh, oh, that is just, uh, where did I go wrong with you? I'm beginning to ask that myself, Gloria. Both of you need to learn to respect your elders. Hey, hey, why don't you guys try a little... Uh, I don't even... What is that? It's decorations for the Velo Vido Parte. You mean you're throwing 
a Valentine party for veteran laundry officers? Yes. Those hearts and those blunt things, those were made when I accidentally uh, dyed my la the laundry pink because I thought Wiley Partner had a quart of strawberries in his trousers. Doesn't save them for years. Uh, Dad, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Now, boy, I raised you to be a man, not some bleeding heart. Bloody hearts! And, and, and just look how, how each chamber is pumping the perfect proportion of life-giving platelets. And I also raised you to speak plain English. Well, that's... Just because I've advanced beyond the, the quaint colloquialisms you deign to employ. Boy, you better watch your mouth. Mom, you're stifling my heart. You know what? You better be glad that's all I'm stifling. Hey, hey, try a little of that, you know, that kind of stuff. Say what, Gloria, I'm going to have you court martial. You're not properly honoring a veteran. Dad, you have done laundry for one year. I have been doing your laundry for like 50, for a lot more years. Why don't you just move your dirty laundry out of my way? What's dirty is your tactics. you you watch out for my heart. You all need to watch out for my heart because I'm about to have a heart attack. Well, looks like you just threw in the towel, Dad. Oh, I'm just getting started. You wait and see. I'm going to bring in the big guns. Uh, well, I'm just getting started crocheting my heart. Well, you just wait till I bring my heart. I'm going to bring a pumping heart. Well, it looks like my battery's dead on my camera. And and it kind of looks like my project of finding to catch some kindness is kind of dead, too. Hey, kids. Looks like we got a nice warm valentine from Ella in Vermont. Well, um, this is not a valentine. In fact, this letter is ice cold. Colder than a Vermont summer. I'm just guessing. I've never actually been to Vermont. Anyway, Ella had a chilling experience, and I think we need to check it out. <coughs> Dear Zachary, it snowed hard last week, and we were stuck inside for days. Classic Vermont. I actually didn't mind much, because I had a great cup of hot cocoa, and an awesome new book for my e-reader, and tons of kindling for the fire. Everything was perfect until my little sister Vivian and her friend Grace came in and asked me to play Twister with them because they used up their screen time watching Frozen for the 296th time. No judgment here. I was like, no way. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. I was so angry, I yelled at them to leave me alone. Leave me alone! They got really quiet and left after that. Finally, I could get back to my book. But somehow, all I could see in the screen was my little sister's disappointed face. I knew what I had to do, so I offered to play with them after all. It ended up being lots of fun. Vivian turned herself into the ultimate human pretzel, and I ended up breaking my previous record. Hmm, I didn't even know Twister had records. Well done, Ella. Man, all this pretzel talk is making me hungry. Can I get some muscle with this? So Ella's sister was totes annoying, but Ella chose to be kind anyways. <laughs> Whoever decided to take a pretzel and make it larger and softer deserves some kind of metal. What? I have something on my face? Did I get it? I think I got it. So remember kids, kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. kindness didn't work too well. I caught something, but it wasn't kindness. I think this is about over. What? Oh, watch hey. this hurt Hey, hey guys. Watch this hurt uh, 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 Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't spend decades sleeping with these knitting needles for nothing. Not 
that ain't nothing. Cause old Wiley Parker threw his parachute in the wash too. Hey, hey, you are family, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, you'll never get out of this. I'll tell you, you guys, when I get done thrashing with you two. Hey, 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 you guys! Oh, oh, oh hi, Marshall. We we just hi. didn't quite see you there. Uh, why didn't you say something? It's just a uh, little family business here, son. What business are you up to? Well, I was uh, working on trying to use my camera here to uh, catch a family being kind to one another. Uh, maybe you should come back another time. <laughs> well, well, actually, this might be a great time. A great time to let you see what I caught. What I caught right here in the camera. So here, take a look. Let me get it going. I'm going right here. Take a look. Dad, I've been doing your laundry for 50 of years. So you'll just have to move your dirty laundry out of my way. <laughs> it's your dad boss tactics that are dirty. Watch out for my heart. You ought to be watching out for mine because I'm about to have a heart attack. I think we've seen enough. Well, you didn't exactly <laughs> catch us at our best. <laughs> Not even at our semi-mediocre. <laughs> Gloria, Gordo, I am sorry. My zest for my laundry buddies. I wasn't even kind to my own kin. My heart was beating for all the wrong things. Well, I, I kind of got knotted up in my own plans. <laughs> well, what do you say we, we combine our festivities? Yeah, I think my laundry buddies would have a lot in common with your knitting ladies, Gloria. Yeah, and, the, and, my, and my science pals could could, could give free electrochiograms to everyone. Well, in that case, I probably should bring those right heart-shaped chitlins, after all. Well, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we head to the kitchen and plan this over some hot cocoa? Oh, good idea. Hey, we're super sorry that you did get us acting kind to each other for your documentary, Marshall. Well, actually, I think I got just what I needed. Henry and Mrs. F. and Gordo all work together to show each other kindness because sometimes it's really hard to be kind to each other. That's kind of gross, Evie. Nice. Well, we have some very important business. I know a lot of you have been showing kindness throughout the whole month of February, and we have all those names in that basket. Raise your hand if you heard your name. Did you hear your name? I don't have enough swag bags for all of you, but I do have one. Are you ready to find out who's, who's gonna win our swag bag? All right, I need a drum roll, are you ready? Here we go, are you ready, Zebby? Oh, this student is a second grader, and it's a boy. This person shows kindness every day by being cooperative and kind to everyone. This month's winner is Angel Jewel. Yay, everybody cheer for Angel. to show kindness this month. Can you tell these kids? You, doing good for the teacher and doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I know you do good for the teacher, don't I? Yeah, and I bet Mrs. Ramsey does too, doesn't she? Yeah. All right, I want you to give Angel another big round of applause because he showed kindness all month long and he gets our Zebra Zone swag bag with lots of goodies, all right? So there you go, Angel. And I want you guys to watch one more quick video about kindness, all right? Stay nice and quiet.
because this is something that we need to practice more than just in the month of February, right? We can still show kindness in March. Are you ready? Kindness, showing others. Perfect. All right. We have had a great show with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you again next month for our March Big Idea. I can't wait for you to find out what it is on Monday. I need you to stand up because it's time for us to say goodbye.